I'm a bit of a wanderer, but we'll see what, what happens. So I've expected this. I really have. In fact, uh, I got a magazine that says the sun is coming and the grid is going down, and I agree with you. We are in a tornado, and it is going to come to an end. So then I was thinking about, OK, well, why would, if we're ending society, why would we need an electrical engineer, right? Most of society that we think of is about communication and electronics and gadgets and, yep. and Facebook and, OK, so why would you need an electrical engineer? And I was like, hmm, it's an interesting question. Do you? So I thought about the next question is, we're going to rebuild society. Where do we want to rebuild society? And I have a quote from, I give a lot of these talks where I try and convince people to be engineers. And I have a quote. The world that never was. Scientists discover the world that exists. Engineers create the world that never was. So hey, we're in. Engineers, we are going to create the world. And I, I do believe that. That was an aerospace engineer, Theodore von Karman, that said that. We are problem solvers. I have practical skills. I don't quite knock myself out installing a bathroom faucet. And at times, people say you're going to hurt yourself in the lab. Here, we'll do that for you. <laughs> My students are a little protective, but I do have practical skills. I also have a lot of history and knowledge. And I do believe that you have to study history to understand where society made the decisions they made and then maybe make different decisions. I won't say bad, we'll say different decisions. But engineers as a whole, we are problem solvers, we are thinkers. You will find a lot of engineers also have a music passion or a history passion. We are great communicators because if we have these fantastic ideas and we cannot communicate them, they're not going to create the world that could be of the future. So engineers as a whole have a strength that maybe other disciplines don't have. And I want you to think about what society could be like. You know, I mutter under my breath sometimes as I'm teaching along this semester, I'm working in microgrids. So we're talking about making a sustainable electric um, community, actually here on the UV campus. And I, I worry about, we may have to do that, that, that things are changing in society, and, and I may end up living in a cardboard box, and oh my goodness, if I live in a cardboard box, how am I going to survive? But I know my engineering skills will help me. I know EAS 140 will help me because I had 400 freshmen build portable shelters. So I am confident that I could build myself a shelter if I had to, and I could build it to specs. So if, if, if they had only palm trees, by golly, we would build it by palm trees. I know that I can do that. And I am confident that I've had the background, the physics, the, the chemistry, and all of those things to do that. Now, personally, I think about this, and my, some of my research is actually in EMPs, um, at preventing, uh, protecting electronics from all electromagnetic pulse. So, yeah, so if you've seen oceans, and some of you will help me, 13, 14, one of them where they wipe out Las Vegas, Yes. Yes. Which one is that? Oceans 12. Oceans 12. Okay, sure. That's what my research in is, preventing things like that. So I'm prepared for this to happen. I, I've been mentally preparing myself, and I don't like to grocery shop, so I have a lot of canned goods and stuff on the table. <laughs> um, plus, my life doesn't have a lot of canned goods. And, and my family always says, yes, if anything ever happens, we're going to her house because she's prepared. But I think engineering has done that, too. I am, I am a little bit more practical than other people. I ask different questions than other people do, and my family harasses me because I'm an engineer. When my mm, mm, sister will ask me questions about my niece and nephew, I will say things like, I'm sorry, I don't have a big enough sample set to evaluate. <laughs> <laughs> so we evaluate things differently. We look at the world differently. And I, I think that we need engineers in society. Now, my father would also say, rightly so, that maybe everybody shouldn't be an engineer, and he apologizes occasionally, you know, excuse her, she's being an engineer right now when I'm trying to trade off the technical attributes of, well, right now it's fireplace sensors. So I have a little decision matrix of all the different variables, and I'm trying to logically decide which is better. So I think that's good for a society to have. We would build decision matrix and sort of check off the things, and my father says, just ignore her. She's a little bit of an engineer. And he's got a point. I mean, you do need a practical, but 
you also need an appreciation for history. You need an appreciation for music. And you need a cooperative spirit to rebuild the society. And engineering is all about teaming together to solve common problems. So I think from that perspective, you're going to need engineers. And if nothing else, we're going to need a couple engineers because we only understand each other. Um, and if my dad is right, we're not supposed to be a general society. So I'm hoping one of you in the audience is also an engineer. Um, so I'll have somebody to talk to and translate my ideas to, to much better things. But we are the problem solvers. And if we were going to rebuild society, and in all seriousness, this is part of my research. And I, I do think about things like this. Where would you start? Would electronics be the in specific electrical engineering? Would electronics be your first thing? No, but by 1918, we had invented the electrical washing machine. So if you're going to rebuild society and it's going to go in some trajectory, there will be need for devices and, and, and things, unfortunately, even if they are shelters. There will be means for those kind of things, and that's what engineers do. They create the world that never was. So that's why I think you should take me, so I can create the world that never was.